So I guess Greg Roman wasn't coaching his last game for the Baltimore Ravens last week against the Broncos after all, because I certainly felt that way. But I'm here to let you know that I was completely wrong. YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Now, I seriously do feel for uh, Greg Roman, especially if this was something that he really wanted, because I, oof, speaking from a lot of experience myself, uh, I have had times when I uh, uh, wanted a job, I applied for that job, I had the interview for that job, I felt like the interview went great for that job, I felt like there was mutual interest for that job, but I didn't end up getting that job. Um, but it all ended up working out in the long run, and for Greg Roman, we'll see how things go. Uh, but Greg Roman is not getting the job uh, with Stanford as their head coach. He is out of the runnings, and it's believed that uh, former Cowboys coach Jason Garrett, he's a finalist for the Stanford head coaching job. And let's just read this quick excerpt from the article uh, written by Stuart Mandel of The Athletic. It says, former Dallas Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett has emerged as a finalist for the Stanford head coaching job. Multiple sources with knowledge of the search process told The Athletic on Thursday. Here's what you need to know. Garrett, who spent this season as a color analyst for NBC's Notre Dame games, nearly became the head coach at Duke last season, but the job went to Mike Elko. So blah, 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 blah. In this part, candidates the school talked to who are no longer in the running. So that's official. Like, not even any more consideration. Not, oh, we'll think about. No, no. No longer in the running include former BYU and Virginia coach Bronco Mendenhall, Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator Greg Roman, and former Denver Broncos head coach Vic Fangio. So there you have it. There you have it. Greg Roman is not getting the job. So I, I really thought that this was going to be a way, and, and Ravens still can come up with more ways, but I really thought this was going to be a way for the Ravens to uh, be able to end their relationship with Greg Roman on a high note, on a positive. And again, like I said, they can still do that. That, that was not the only way. Um, and, and I'm not here to say, oh, fire Greg Roman, fire Giro, fire Giro. Because like I've always said, the problem is way farther, way deeper, and way higher than Greg Roman. But this is not that conversation right now. Um, but for the Ravens and Greg Roman, I, I do still believe that this is his last season coaching with the team. Um, and they, they could do one of their mutual part in the ways thing where, hey, well, Greg, he did a great job here, phenomenal job. Um, but we're going to go in a different direction. Uh, so, oof. Now, one thing that I'm wondering, and I know a lot of Ravens fans won't want to hear this, but one thing that I'm wondering, and I don't think it's going to happen, but you got to think about it. One thing that I'm wondering is if, because this has happened before. It happens with players. It happens with coaches, too. Greg Roman didn't get that job. And if the Ravens really love Greg Roman that much, if they'll be like, all right, let's sign you to a contract extension. Cause we see it happen a lot, man. We see it happen. The Ravens, will, Ravens specifically, and then it, it happens with players too. They'll be like, "Oh, we may hear about them possibly being interested in somebody." Like, oh, remember, um, Chuck Clark, a couple years ago, Chuck Clark, um, the Ravens were trying to trade for Jamal Adams, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Jamal Adams, the safety. They were trying to trade for him. Um. Trade obviously didn't happen. And we, of course, we found out about it after the trade deadline. I'm sure a lot of y'all remember. Um, but then shortly after that, the Ravens ended up signing Chuck Clark to a contract extension. So I, I, what that, it, to me, it seemed like that was sort of a like boost of confidence. Like, all right, Chuck, we tried to get somebody else. We tried to go in another direction, but it didn't work out. So, you know, here you go. Contract extension. Contract extension. That's for you. Now, this is obviously a different situation, and this was not even the Ravens possibly trying to go in a different direction, but it was really the uh, Greg Roman being interested in the Stanford trying to go in his direction, and Greg Roman possibly trying to go in their direction too. But I wonder if Ravens had enough love for him uh, if they would do something like that. Um, so only time will tell. But so Greg Roman is sticking around, and Greg Roman is here for uh, at least the rest of this season. Well, I mean, things could change. You never know. Um, but Greg Roman is here for the foreseeable future um, with the rest of this season. So hoping for the best, hoping for the best. 
I um I don't hope that Greg Roman fails. I don't hope that Greg Roman does a bad job. I hope that Greg Roman and this Ravens offense, I hope that they go off. I hope that they go crazy with Tyler Huntley in the game. And whenever Lamar Jackson comes back, I hope they go just as crazy, even crazier when he gets back. I just I want this Ravens team to have their ultimate level of success. And I feel like they can. It's possible. They got to write a lot of stuff. They got to fix a lot of stuff. Um, but it is possible. And the reason it's possible is because this season ain't over yet, baby. This season is not over. The Ravens have a huge game coming up this Sunday against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is a game. I This is just me. This is just me speaking my opinion only. I think in this game, this could be the one where this, mm, but it is Tyler Huntley though, because they could give Greg Roman a pass depending on, because there's no Lamar playing. I think if Lamar was playing and the offense did bad in this game, especially after that whole Stanford thing, then the Ravens could be like, they could cut the court. Um, but it's Tyler Huntley playing. But this could be a game this could be a statement game for Greg Roman, a bounce back game for Greg Roman because uh, he was crit ridiculed heavily um, after that last game uh, by the media. I know by some fans with that nonsense, that was just that the disres the disrespect. That's never that's never OK. That's, that's, that's never cool. That's never OK. It's nothing cool about that. It's nothing funny about that. Again, if you don't like a coach, a player, what? OK, cool. But to disrespect them, nah, you ain't got to disrespect them. You can voice your opinion on them, what it is about their scheme or their tactics, whatever it is that you don't like about, but to disrespect, nah, nah. But anyway, um, a lot was made of Greg Roman's offense uh, last week after that performance, especially um, just the the pro shape play. I know a lot of people made fun of it. Y'all saw Marlon Humphrey, his, uh, his Instagram photo. That was really funny, man. Uh, where he showed him and Geno Stone He was like oh guess what we looking at And then the next part of the post was uh, James Frochet throwing the ball um, That was crazy man But again my, my thing with, with Greg Roman Especially last week It wasn't even that Like with that play specifically And we talked about this It wasn't even that that play was just this terrible play It was, it was kind of silly But it wasn't like it was this terrible play My biggest issue with that play Was the timing of it that was my problem with it, the timing of it. It was second and seven. Uh, they had, I mean, for what it's worth, I know they only scored 10 points, so were they really moving the ball? But on that drive, they had been moving the ball a little better. The passing game had been doing its thing a little better throughout the game. I mean, the game was a little rough passing. I mean, the game was rough, period, but the passing game was doing all right on that drive. And then to do that, second and seven, it was just like, oh, no. I just didn't like the, the situational play calling with that one. Um... But yeah, man, that's that. So with Greg Roman, uh, I think that um, the Panthers, that's a possible opportunity with that team as a head coach. Because uh, we always hear about with Greg Roman how he's widely respected around the NFL. And I can see that people, they take different stuff from Greg Roman, his, his run game and whatnot, his schemes and whatnot. I mean, the Bears, they openly talked about it. I think Justin Fields openly talked about it, how they stole some stuff from the Ravens playbook and whatnot. So... There's definitely a respect there. It certainly is a respect. But the thing that I, I wonder about, there's this respect. If there's, there's such a respect for Greg Roman, then how come he's never been a head coach? That's what I wonder about. And I'm not saying that there's not a respect for him, but I'm just wondering how come he's never been given that opportunity to be on that level yet? Especially, like, especially after 2019. After the Lamar MVP season, like, I really thought, I'm like, oh, yeah, he's going. Uh, Wink is going to be going. We about to lose both our coordinators. But remember back then, same thing happened. What were we talking about earlier? They go off. They, great year for uh, for G-Row. Great year for Wink. They get interviews. G-Row had an interview, I want to say. Wink had an interview with the Giants, I think, to be the head coach. And I think Greg Roman had his with the Browns. But I forget. Either way, they both had interviews to be head coaches. But what happened? They didn't get the job. Neither one of them got the job. So what did the Ravens do? The Ravens signed them to contract extensions. 
So they gave them that extra support, that extra cushion, that extra, hey, okay, we got y'all. And that was after great seasons now. So this is a different situation, but still, that's why I, I thought about that. That's why I wondered if, may he ain't get the Stanford job. What if the Ravens give him a contract extension? But now I'm still leaning more on the side that this will be his last year uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and that's whether it ends at the end of the season, hopefully after a long ride in the playoffs, and hopefully after the Super Bowl, that'd be nice. But um, whether it's at the end of this season or it comes during this season. Um, so we'll see how the business plays out. So congrats to Jason Garrett, though. I'm sure he'll be clapping it up there at Stanford. Um, but we'll see how, how things work themselves out. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Greg Roman said, he won't be when it comes to being Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator. At least for now, we out.